Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just to let you know, if you haven't heard already, that um, if you are using the Edge PDF Reader and Viewer that Microsoft has recently announced that starting next month in March 2023, they are going to be adding the Adobe Acrobat PDF Engine inside uh, the Edge browsers built in PDF Reader and Viewer. So this is a bit of a significant change taking place next month in March. Now, according to that announcement by Microsoft, um, basically they say they are going to be powering the built-in PDF Reader with the Adobe Acrobat PDF Engine. And because of this, um, there are a couple of changes that Microsoft say you can expect to see if you are using the PDF Reader in Edge. So once the Adobe Acrobat PDF Engine has been integrated next month into uh, the Edge uh, PDF uh, the Edge PDF Reader, you'll see more accurate colors and graphics, improved performance, strong security for PDF handling, according to Microsoft, and better text selection and read aloud narration. And um, according to Microsoft, this is going to be um, free and obviously will be of no cost. Now, if you want more advanced features, um, such as the ability to edit text and images, convert PDFs to other file formats and combine files, Microsoft says you can purchase an, an Acrobat subscription directly inside Microsoft Edge, um, and that's using a browser extension for that purpose. And if you are an existing Adobe Acrobat user with an Adobe Acrobat subscription, you can use the Acrobat extension inside Edge at no extra costs, and that's according to Microsoft. And all of these changes are taking place, as mentioned, um, in Microsoft Edge and will be available to all Windows 10 and 11 users starting next month in March 2023, as mentioned, and uh, with an opt-in option for organizations with managed devices. So just take note of that. And I'll leave a link to that announcement in the description if you would be interested. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.